What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In this week's uh, episode of Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at our defense out of the nickel normal formation uh, from the Cincinnati Bengals defensive playbook. And the play we're going to be looking at today is our base man coverage out of nickel normal. As some of you may have already guessed, we're going to be looking at two man under, the best man coverage in the game. And we're going to use our same setup that we use for our base play. We're going to base a line, shift our linebackers to the right, and spread our defensive line. Now, what I like to do with this from, from this point is uh, different. So we're going to move Rhodes in a little bit. He now has the inside position. Now, this is what I like to do with this man coverage, and I've actually changed it up a little bit uh, from what I used to do. So I like to put Bishop here in a deep blue zone. And then I'll take these safeties here, and I'll put them in purple zones. And then I'll take um, my defensive uh, line, and I'll crash them out. And I'll take my defensive ends and drop them into yellow zones. And this is just a really, in my opinion, it's just a really good max coverage defense. Um, the two-man under trail coverage is going to allow us to really be able to run this. Um, you know, some people have experienced some problems with deep streaks. But two-man under, in my opinion, is going to put your guy in a good position, especially if he has the speed that the Minnesota Vikings cornerbacks have, uh, which is why I feel confident in sharing that with you this week. Um, you know, obviously teams like maybe the Niners, who don't always have the fastest cornerbacks, more physical in nature, uh, maybe they wouldn't be able to do this or get by with this, but the Vikings can, and we're going to take advantage of it. We leave the running back uncovered uh, in this package, uh, in this max defense, but... Where is he really going to go with the two purples out there? I mean, this is just a defense. Again, this is just something to throw at your opponent to make him have to take time up the field and drive. And this is, uh, again, just something. There's just everything smothered, smothered, smothered. He's going to have to throw the ball away or run with the quarterback, and that's why we like to use our base man coverage. Be sure to add this play to your arsenal in man 25 to start locking up teams uh, when they try to get a little bit too blitz. When we get a little bit too blitz happy, use the man coverage. I like to call this play on second and short or just in a situation after I have just blitzed maybe or feel like he needs some maximum coverage defense. I love the two man under. It's the best man coverage in the game and it's just really a no brainer for this defensive scheme. So be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to talk our base zone coverage out of this uh, defense and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 content and be sure to stay tuned later in the week where we break down some pretty good blitz pressure and how to use them in game. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Lock up.